So it's been a while since I've updated anything in my Windows computer, which I occasionally use for things like editing. And today I'm planning on making a graphics card swap and upgrade. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. We'll go step by step without using any unnecessary software. First off, I want to go and grab the driver for the graphics card that I'm going to be installing. So I'm just gonna to go to NVIDIA's website. Today I'm upgrading to a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060, and that's going to be replacing a 1660 Super. So in order to do that, I just need to select the category. So for example, here I have GeForce, and it is the RTX 30 series, and it's for a desktop PC, so I don't wanna hit the notebook. Then I need to find the 3060, which is what I'm installing right here, GeForce RTX 3060, fantastic. Next thing is select the platform that you need it for. They have drivers for varying different operating systems. Windows 11 is going to be what I'm searching for, and then I'm gonna hit find. I'll post a link in the description below if you need some drivers for yourself, but I'm installing this before I actually uninstall the old GPU and put the new one in. It'll just make things easier at the end. Here's the latest drivers, and depending on your use case here, you can use the studio driver or the game ready driver. Since I'm gonna be using this mainly for video editing, I'm gonna actually go with the studio driver here. A lot of you are probably going to want the game ready driver instead. Either way, select which one you want and just hit view. Just verify that you're downloading the proper driver. It says here NVIDIA Studio Driver 566 for me on Windows 11, and it's for the GeForce RTX 3060. In my case, yours can be whatever, and I'm just gonna hit the download button. Fantastic, I'm gonna save this on the computer where I'm making the upgrade. Okay, the next step is to get into safe mode. This will let us safely uninstall the old drivers so we can get the new drivers on and replace the graphics card. We wanna do this before we replace the graphics card, but I do just wanna to touch up on a few things. Always confirm before you get a new graphics card that your power supply provides enough power for the new GPU. Typically this is mentioned on whatever website that you're buying from. For example, I have a 650 watt power supply on this computer and the, and the recommended amount for the 3060 is 650 watts. So it still falls in that range, even though that this computer is about six years old, I still have a good enough power supply for it. Also confirm that you have enough physical space inside your case. Make sure you have enough power connectors to power your graphics card and that your motherboard has a compatible PCI Express slot where it can fit into. All those things are important before buying a new graphics card. And with that all being said, we really wanna get into the safe mode. And the easiest way to do this is by getting into the system recovery window, which you can get to, for example, if you just type in something like boot, you'll see this changed advanced startup options and it'll take you directly to this screen. You can also just type in advanced startup options in search and it'll also take you here. Regardless, we're gonna hit advanced startup and hit restart now. It's gonna say we're gonna restart your device, so make sure to save your work before doing so. That's all good. I know I have nothing that I need saved. It's gonna take a few moments as it is gonna to go to another screen where we can actually select what we need. This is important because it can get us easily into the safe mode. Here on my computer, I get the BIOS first before I see this choose an option screen, which I can select what I want to do at this point. Now, sometimes this will require a physical mouse or a physical keyboard, just in case you lost your Bluetooth keyboard or mouse. Just plug one in so you can use the screen. And now in order to boot into the safe mode, we'll go to troubleshoot, advanced options. Then we have this startup settings and we can hit the restart button. This should allow us to enable the safe mode. And here we go. Startup settings allows us to select whichever function we want. So if we want to enable debugging, that's one, boot logging two, so on and so forth. The option that we want is enable safe mode. We don't need networking for this one as it can only hinder us. So I'm gonna select option four and then give my computer a few moments in order to boot up into the safe mode. And notice now that we are in safe mode. How do you tell? Well, there's safe mode labeled on every corner of this screen at the moment. And we can now continue on by going into the device manager. There's a few ways to get to this, including just searching for it. If you just start typing in device, you're gonna get device manager. That's in the control panel. You can also navigate using the control panel. Either way works. And in here, we're gonna see a lot about the system, including the display adapters, which is where we're going to. In display adapters, the idea here is to uninstall what we currently have, 
which look right here, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super. That's my current graphics card. I don't need the drivers on here for this one anymore. I want to move over to the 3060. Next, let's search for the control panel by simply typing control in the search menu and then hitting control panel. This will load and then we can click on programs and features. What I'm looking for here is the current NVIDIA graphics drivers that are installed on the system. I want to uninstall these because we don't need these anymore. We're going to be installing the other graphics driver. So I'm just going to hit uninstall and it says, do we want to really remove this? Well, yes, at this point, we're ready to do this. Just be prepared for screen blinking. So your screen going black as it's trying to uninstall things. So I'm just, so I'm ready to remove this. So I'm going to hit uninstall. I'm going to give it a few minutes here. And it says in order to complete the removal, it needs to restart the computer. I'm actually going to hit restart later, but that's really it when it comes to uninstalling things. Next, I'm going to go back into the device driver just to check things out to see if my graphics card was removed because I removed the drivers. And sure enough, I don't see it anymore located in the device drivers. I do see a little bit of a remnant here of NVIDIA high definition audio driver, but I'm not worried about that one. Everything else seems to be gone. So pretty simple. I'm going to shut things down because I've uninstalled that driver. It's said to restart, but shutting down things is just as good. And next I'm disconnecting everything from the physical computer. That way I can swap the cards. I'll meet you over there. All right, so it's definitely been a minute since I've clean this thing out. All right, and as we can see here, I have things plugged in right up the top here on this particular graphics card, the 1660. I'm gonna remove this. You pull the tab back and you just pull. Fairly easy. Now the harder part is getting to the tab, at least on my particular motherboard, to remove things. I also have two more thumb screws on the side that'll let me open up the ports so I can have access to the card. And with those two removed, I can remove my cover, like shown here. I'm gonna set that aside as well. And now I'm ready to try to get to the tab. The tab is located in a weird spot back here. You can maybe see it, maybe not. I'm just gonna push down on that and try to get it to release. There we go. I heard a clip, the tab is pulled down. And then the last thing I need to do is remove the last two screws. You can probably see them here, one and two in order to remove my graphics card completely from the system. While I got this thing apart, I am spending some time in cleaning things out. I'm gonna get these screws out real quick and we should be real close to being able to remove the old card and put the new one in. It's gonna be fairly easy to go and do everything in reverse. I would tell you, spend some time looking around, just making sure that things are clean, especially if you're working with an old computer here. Dust likes to settle inside. Now I'm just gonna pull up and look at that, very easy to get out. I officially have my GeForce GTX 1660 in hand and it's ready to see another computer at a later day. That's really it for removing it. Fantastic. Let's move on to bringing the new guy into play. All right, and I took some things out of frame here, but we're back. Now I'm ready to put the new graphics card in. Here's the 3060 and it's ready to go in. Notice on the 3060, it's much larger. So I'm just gonna make sure that everything clears. And then the other thing I wanna make sure is that I remove this piece of plastic out from the bottom to expose the pins. Make sure you do that with any graphics card. I know it's easy to forget sometimes as you're getting excited to put your new graphics card in. The other thing I wanna make sure is that I know where all power points are. It's got this eight pin power connector right here up top. And that's what it was on my last one, about in the same spot, so I don't have any problems routing this back up to the top. Just make sure your power cord is out of the way and that things aren't getting in the way. For example, I have this cable right here. I'm gonna shove a little bit out of the way and then I'm gonna try to put this thing in. Make sure that your tab is down and as you're seeding the graphics card, that should go down itself. Also, another thing to make note, some graphics cards require more than one slot in order to be put in. So this is a two slot graphics card, so it's gonna fit in two slots. That's why I have two empty slots over here on the left. Remove another one if you have a three card slot. But anyways, I'm gonna move it over. All right, I'm getting close here. As you can tell, I just need to kind of force it down and push it down. Now there is a little bit of play here. What's nice is my my screw holes over here are lining up. Not sure if you can see that, that is a good sign. And things seem seated as I heard the tab 
pop back into place once I push the graphics card down. Don't push too hard. You don't want to break anything. Never push against things like the heat sink. Find a good solid back like right here. This, for example, is part of the heat sink as well, but it's solid metal. So I can push up against that. No problem. I'll check back in here. Make sure that the pins are completely seated, that I can't see any sticking out as well as the tab is pushed up. If that's the case and everything fits, let's go put our screws back in. Not really sure if you can see this, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll show you in a moment once I get them in. All right, the two screws are back in, fantastic. No more left, that's what I like to see. Next, I'm gonna check and make sure graphics card is seated properly again, and that it's not loose or moving around too much. One concern I may have is that I am blocking a fan down here for the motherboard. I could potentially swap spots for the graphics card, but that's not that big of a deal for me right now. I'm gonna grab the power that I was using before. Here's the power cable. I wanna make sure that these are combined with each other because I need eight pins in order to run the power to the graphics card. I'm gonna reuse the same ones that I was using before. I can just take a measure and see about which one seems to be better to use. I'm gonna actually use this set here. I think it's just a little bit of a better routing. And then I'm just going to play around until I have a good seating. It hasn't been seated all the way. As of now, I just heard the click, so things are good now. And I just wanna pull up ever so gently on it just to make sure that things, again, are seated properly. And this looks much better. I got a nice arc, everything's out of the way. I remember this cable over here being in the way. I'm just going to place it back down. That way it's out of the way of the heat sinks. I'm gonna redistribute that in a little bit, but that's really just for tidying up purposes. Next thing is I'm gonna replace the cover. And I can tell that the, sc that the screw holes go over the screws, so I'm gonna place it in something like this. In here, flip it around, flip it on top, press it down, and that's good. Now I have the thumb screws to go put back in. Your case might not have all this extra crap, Mine does, so I wanna replace everything that I took out. So I'm just gonna make sure I'm diligent about not leaving any extra parts. Getting exciting, and if you're still following along and you're enjoying this content, make sure to subscribe below. Hit that notification bell for more videos like this, especially if you enjoy Linux and programming. You're definitely in the right place for those types of things. Okay, I'm ready to put the glass back on. And with that seated, the last two thumb screws go back in and I have accomplished what I wanted, which is to change out the graphics card. This means I'm ready to go back. Let's power things up and make sure this puppy works. I'd say at this point, this is a pretty good sign as something's coming up for BIOS, and it looks like my Windows is actually loading up as well. All right, sweet, I got a login screen. Also at this point, I should go back into the device manager in the control panel just to make sure that things came in correctly. And here I should be seeing something with the display adapter. And sure enough, there is, but nothing to do with the NVIDIA graphics card that I just got done installing, because that's really the next step. You'll notice that the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 did finally get seen by the system, which is a very good sign. And things are running smoother as Windows is actually trying to put in a display driver for me, but in order to use this card to its fullest capability, we must install the proprietary drivers from NVIDIA. So let's go do that next because we already have them downloaded, so it's gonna make this a lot easier for us. And here I am in my downloads folder. I have the 566 driver that I got done installing earlier, latest and greatest. I'm gonna double click, give administrative privileges here, allow it to extract things onto the computer and start the installation process. In the device manager, you'll notice that you may have a yellow triangle next to your display adapter. That just means that things aren't quite set up right, this new driver will fix that. Now it's checking system compatibility. It's asking me to agree and continue in order to install the graphics driver and the NVIDIA app. I do usually select to install both instead of just the graphics driver. I'm gonna hit agree and continue. I'm gonna go through the express installation method by hitting next, and it's gonna take a few minutes as things start installing. You may see a couple times where your screen blinks. This is completely normal as well. And once it's finished, that's because the driver is getting installed. Things are recalibrating here. So it might cause 
screen blanking just for a little moment. Anyways, when it says NVIDIA installer has finished, well, now we're ready to launch the app. And it says here, you can check the box, create desktop shortcut if you want. Either way, you can close out once you're finished and the NVIDIA app now runs. You can select whichever driver you're running. I'm running the studio, great. And it says whether or not you wanna optimize for games and creative applications, select next if you do. Do you want NVIDIA overlay? No, I don't. I don't need to screenshots or videos from them. I got my own tools for that. I'm gonna hit done. And now I can install and use various different things, including updating the drivers when necessary, just by going to the drivers, hitting graphics in order to optimize applications to use the graphics card, check out system settings as necessary, get the best resolution and get this graphics card working to its full potential. And the NVIDIA control panel is really my favorite place to make any kind of changes to the card. It's just so much easier to use. Make sure to go through these and confirm that you have your settings like you had them before. And then just lastly, confirm that you have everything under display drivers showing up correctly. You might need one last reboot. I know it didn't ask me to reboot. I always like to reboot things, but congratulations if you made it this far, you've successfully upgraded your graphics card on your computer the easy way. Hopefully you found this easy. And if you did, please don't forget to smash that like button. I'm super excited to start using this thing and I hope you're excited to use yours as well. Subscribe below for more in-depth videos like this and guides. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.